Here's something that's really, really cool. Since the slope of the VT graph, and that's what we're talking about this line here, is the acceleration, we compare this to the slope intercept formula, where you have y equals mx plus b, and we're just going to move this around a little, put the b in front of the mx, and why are we doing that? Well, let's look. What's our final y here, or velocity? It's going to be 4, or v final, over here. So that's our y. What's our initial? Well, our initial velocity is up here, okay? And that's, at the moment for this problem, it's 10. So that's our initial velocity. What do you notice about that? That's the y-intercept. Now, and again, y-intercept is what? It's represented by b in the slope-intercept formula. Then we have a, the slope of the line. That's our acceleration. And then who do we have plotted on the x-axis? Well, that's time. So we have vf equals vi plus at represented on this graph. And who's that? It's the first kinematics equation.